there's probably more cheerleaders than there are players. This is a big cheerleading squad. Gentlemen, you guys come for yourself. There's the cheerleaders. Snohomish football team. Just kidding, obviously there's more football players. The Snohomish has had their share of injuries. A lot of civilian clothes over there. Mike Sanders with a carry. Tackle by number 58, Curtis Billy. Mike kept it again. Didn't fool anybody. Must have got a couple of yards on that, but. In the red zone, they get to tighten up those linebackers. Second effort on that was just unbelievable. Connor Brown with some tough running down to the one yard line. I think that was in. Connor wasn't going down without a fight there. Somebody hurt on the field there. One of the Mariner players shook up a little bit. I certainly can appreciate that running against Connor Brown. That guy runs downhill all the time. Waiting on this extra point after the Snohomish touchdown. Score now is 13 to six in favor of the Panthers. <clears throat> Crowd is still looking a little sparse. We won't be able to tell which parents are which if they stay for the next game because Marysville Pilchuck is also red. Marysville Pilchuck versus Glacier Peak Grizzlies. Well, they're helping the player off the field. Ariel Ferreira on for the extra point. 25. That would be Carone Jones. Carone Jones. see if they're going to do some trickery this time or just going to kick it like, well, I think they're going to kick it because they've got the... There it goes. That's good. Next one is good. That's the Homish 14, Mariner 6. Homish 14, Mariner 6. Fans for official scores, schedule, standings, photos. A lot of 
lot of deciding games tonight. It's a big game. Edmonds Woodway versus Lake Stevens. My pick in that's going to be Edmonds Woodway. They look like the real deal this year, but. In that game, the winner will host Kinko 5. That will be either Newport or Woodenville. The loser of that game will host SPSL South 3, which will be either Federal Way or Curtis. Another big game tonight is Cascade Monroe. Winner of that game will host SPSL North 2. Actually, travel. Check that. We'll travel to SPSL 2. Either Auburn or Auburn Riverside or Kentwood. Loser travels to GSHL. Camus. Tackled by number 33, Joseph Prophet. And then uh, Kamiak Arlington. Winner travels to Narrows 1. It'll be either Gig Harbor or Bellamine Prep. Either way, that'll be a tough game. Mariner now with the ball. Joshie Williamson around left side. Looks like that's pretty close to a first down. Attack by number 45, Ben Demosky. First down. Move the chains. This is not the last game for the Snohomish Panthers. Next week they will be traveling to Linwood. Williamson with a gain of two. Tackled, Tackled by, by number 77. Who is that? Alex Fairhurst. Looks like a good sized boy. Deontay Law on the right side. Deontay Law, number three. He seems like a pretty fast guy out of the backfield there. So coming up next we've got uh, Glacier Peak Marysville Pilchuck for the league championship. That's another first down by the way. First down, now in that particular game whoever wins that will host Metro 5. That'll be either Blanchett or Chief Self. Loser in that game will also host they will host Narrows 3 which will be Timberline, Wilson or Lincoln. Williamson on the left side, brought down by number 93, Dakota Peel. Also tonight, Oak, Mer uh, Meadowdale versus Oak Harbor. I don't know if it's better to be the winner or loser out of that game because the winner has to host Mount Sai and the loser has to host as, is going to Bellevue. Of course, there's a little bit of mathematical uh, the loser could depending on if Ferndale wins or not could be Fer if, if Ferndale beats Anacortes, they'll travel to Kinko 1. If Ferndale loses to Anacortes, they will travel to Timberline or Lincoln. 
Stanwood Mount Lake Terrace playing tonight. The winner of that travels to GSHL 1, which will be Columbia River or Mountain View. Boy, he sniffed that out, took him down the backfield. He gets up limping. He's going to have to shake that off or get off the field. Just joining us, Snohomish Panthers versus Mariner Marauders. Snohomish has yet to win a game this year. They're ahead in this contest 14 to 6. Mariner has a single win and that is against Linwood. Snohomish travels to Linwood next week. Linwood is also winless this year. The next game, Marysville Pilchuck versus or at Glacier Peak Grizzlies. Marysville Pilchuck 8-0. Glacier Peak is 7-1. Single loss to Boffle. Team coming up out of Kinko to play Glacier Peak. Pass right over the middle, caught in traffic. That's a good pass. Tackle, tackle by number 19, Dakota Teal. I'm not sure how much distance he made up though because... Tackle by number 11, Junius Fiddle. Fourth down and five, looks like. Fourth down and four. They're gonna go for it. Nick Smith under center. Well, that was a good fake. First down. Williamson on the carry. First down, Mariner. Tackle by number 33, Joseph Prophet. Joseph Prophet. There's no gain in that play. Touchdown, Mariner. Deontay Lyon for a touchdown. Brings the score 14 to 12. Snohomish. Let's see if Mariner has a little trickery here.
And he does. Runs it right around the right side. In for... That brings the score even up. 14-14. Mariner's not going to go away quietly. like a very sparse crowd here tonight. Still filtering in. I'm not sure for sh I'm not for sure on this, but I think that this is a first ever double header here at Veterans Memorial Stadium since they the school split. Glacier Peak and Snohomish. I believe this is the first set to kick off. first ever doubleheader. Two games at one night. Most of the parents are probably not used to having a 5 p.m. start. Snohomish has a very good following. Little pooch kick. Ooh, the pooch kick got away from him. Eight pooch has returned up to the 13 yard line. Snohomish first down. That's a pretty good return off of a bobbled. Kickoff return. Mike Sanders will go back to work. See if they change anything up from what we've been seeing all night. Connor Brown up the middle. Connor Brown over left side. Connor Brown, left side. Guess they changed a little bit. It's left side, not the middle. Just keep pounding it out. Keep pounding it out. We got about five minutes left here. Oh, he's gonna air it out. Oh! Flag on that play. We knew that was coming. Flag on the play. I believe that's 15 yards from the line of skirmish. High school ball's a little funny in that way, but you expect to see it go where the the infraction was, but it is not. Time over to the left side. Mike Sanders to 82. Which caught that for looks like a first down. That's a first down with Snohomish. Yes, it is. Gonna go ahead and open this up a little bit. Send that ball down the field. That'll open it up for the run. See what we're gonna do here. Yep. Connor Brown. Connor Brown again with some tough running up the middle. Let us introduce ourselves. Here is Connor Brown right up the middle. Empty backfield. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Pass intended for... Joseph Prophet. Oh, 
I think it was for Joseph. It was 93. Oh no, there's Dakota Keel. I think that was the same one last time. Oh, Sanders in trouble. Take it down in the backfield. See some of the Glacier Peaks coaching staff starting to slowly filter in. Four minutes left in this half. Snohomish tied up with Mariner. Right down by number 15, Greg Whitaker. Mikey's quick. That brings that third down and one. Three and a half minutes left. Third and one. Oh, there we go. Keep running it until they can stop it. Connor Brown. Josh Williamson with the tackle. That's a first down to Homish. Snohomish. Six more points. Always looking like they're going to do a little trickery and then nope, right back to the Tried and true. And that is good. Extra point is good. That's the homies. 21. Mariner 14. Three minutes left until the half. Snohomish up this time by seven. 21. 14. Mike Sanders seems to be moving them right on down the right on down the field. Recognize Marcy Fairhurst just comes up from the bottom bleachers. Watching her son there, number 77, Alex Fairhurst. Certainly making a lot of noise here. Here we go. Gonna have to wrap up, boys. Gonna have to wrap up.
That's a good run back. We're gonna have to learn to. Oh, we've got Glacier Peak. The team just showed up. Where'd they come in from? Upper parking lot. Two minutes to the half, it looks like there's going to be a little exhibition game or a little exhibition scrimmage between Snohomish and Mariner Little League football. See the players showing up here uh, on the sidelines right now. We got Marcy Fairhurst watching her son Alex. Yeah. Clock still ticking. Oh, just stopped. 154 left in the half. Timeout, Time Snohomish. Snohomish. Ben, we'd like to thank the Snohomish County Fire District Number Four for their presence here tonight. I'd like to let everybody know that uh, if they are out traveling around and they're driving, they can get uh, the next game on AM 1380. Tom and the boys will be up there giving all the stats and all of the, the uh, up-to-the-minute action for the Marysville Pilchuck Glacier Peak Grizzlies game. I'd like to thank thank Kathy Salvadolina for her support. Longtime supporter here of Snohomish and Glacier Peak football. Over there at Windermere if you're looking for a house. Or even if you're just kind of licking around the edges trying to see what your house is worth and maybe to see what's going on. Call Kathy. She's uh, she is one friendly realtor. Somebody that actually understands the idea of working for a living. Again, Kathy Salvolina at Windermere, Snohomish Windermere. KathySalvo.com Gonna make it like 17. Third and 17. Scoreboard says third and 20, but it's probably more correct. Ooh, long pass, long pass. Nice. You have to respect a good ball. All the way down to the 10 yard line. Reception by number 11, Judeus Kudo. Nick Smith with the, with the pass under cover, or pressure. Brought down by number 1780, Cooch. There's our boy Cooch again. Gotta love that name, Cooch. Get in there, Cooch! I see the coach yelling something. Where's Cooch? Get him in there! I'm hand off to number nine. Who's number nine? Let's take a look. Joshua Williamson. That was not Deontay.
course I can't see from up here maybe it was a nine and a three what do I know Josh Williamson. See, I think it's the same number. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I think that's the same number. Touchdown, Mariner. Score now 20. 21 20. In favor of Snohomish. We'll see what happens here on the extra point. We've got a minute left until the half. Glacier Peak players have arrived. Timeout, Mariner. Timeout, Mariner. That's their last timeout of the half. I hope it's their last timeout. They're supposed to get three, and that's number three. Here in one minute, we'll be taking a break. Don't get all excited if you see the screen go black. I'll get myself a soda or something. I'll tell you, this gotta be the best show in town, man. For six bucks, I think it's six bucks. Come down here, get a little free football, watch the cheerleaders, listen to some music, hang out with your friends. I'll tell you what, this is the place to be Friday night. Friday Night Lights. How much better can it be? Oh, they're going to do another little trickery here. They're going to try and go into the locker room up by a point. Let's see what happens here. Oh, there. That wasn't fooling anybody. Number 25, who is that? Garrett Stitch. Don't be messing around with Garrett. That boy will put a hurt on you in a quick hurry. So, with that failed attempt, that's going to leave Snohomish up by a point. Snohomish 21, Mariner 20. As we are desperately awaiting Scott Oshman and Tim Boyle. Mr. Tim Boyle. ladies and gentlemen. That boy should be out of the house by now. I'm not sure he's got all of his work done, but if he does, they might let him out. Let's hope they do, because he'll be down here calling this Glacier Peak game. Probably have a few more accurate stats. A few things to say about the Glacier Peak Grizzlies and the Marysville Pilchuck Tomahawks. The Tommies! The Herald's reporting that their star running back is a little bit banged up. I think he's been a little banged up all year. It's going to wind up being a little bit of hype. They still have him on the two deep. They'll say, yeah, he's hurt until he comes out of the backfield. And all you see is smoke behind him traveling down the field at about 100 miles an hour. Mary going to kick off here to Snohomish. One minute left to play in the half. Little, another little pooch kick. Oh, good return. Brings it up to like about 45 yard line somewhere in there, 46. See how close I am on that one. 46, I'm right on the money. Of course, Oshman, he's probably got those uh, binoculars. I think you say Bushnell or something like that, Bush. He's a rep for that brand. Oh, that was incomplete. No, 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 that was incomplete, dude. Oshman should be bringing me a coffee. Make me stand out here all alone. 
while he's at home doing housework, whatever it is he's doing. You're going to be glad to hear his voice. There we go, Mike. You look like he was back to pass, but he says, oh, no. I'm going to go. Oh, he dropped the ball. What do we got here? Got to hold on to the ball. Got to hold on to the ball. Uh-oh. Mariner recovered. Got to hold on to the ball, Mikey. Got to hold on to the ball, buddy. That's what happens when you're grease lightning. You go past somebody and they just stick their hook out there. You either stop. Or let go of the ball. Forty-two seconds left. Let's see what they can do in forty-two seconds. Let's see if he'll send it down the field. No, oh, come on now. That's the same as the last one. You can't catch it off the ground. Catch the ball before you run. Not a very big crowd here. I think there's more kids than parents. Oh, I think that's right, too. I knew a flag was going to come out on that one. Can't be grabbing on to them unless they got the ball. That looked like uh, he was going to do a little wrestling move there. I'm waiting for Tim to pull out the old chicken wing comment. Fifteen yards, that's going to give them um, first down and... Thirty-six seconds left on the clock. Mariner driving while they're driving a little bit. The penalty there helped them quite a bit. Touchdown, Mariner. That puts Mariner up by six. No, by up by five. 26 to 21 over Snohomish with 29 seconds left on the clock. I would assume they are going to try a little bit of trickery here once again to try and bring that score up by seven instead of five. You know, they're having a little bit of an issue there deciding on who's supposed to be out there. Now they got the group they're going to go with. Oh, wrong side. Oh, I got to go over here. Okay, here we go. Good. That brings the score 28 to 21. Brings it back within seven. Twenty-nine seconds left on the clock. Mariner up by seven. Twenty-eight to twenty-one. A lot of injuries over there on this Snohomish bench. Tanner Arrington's out. Hurt shoulder. Mike Sanders has been doing a bang up job here. Little Mikey.
something smells really good here. We will find some meat in about 29 seconds. Mariner always looks like they're at a track meet when they're getting ready to kick this ball off. Twenty-three oh, seconds left on the clock. Heard. It's funny I didn't see the Glacier Peak bus pull up in the back. They usually unload in the back. Must have gone around to the front. Make those Glacier Peak kids walk past all that. Flag, flag, on the play. Yep, flag on the play. I thought I saw something come out there. A little laundry. Never can tell though with my eyesight. That's why we have professionals out there like Chris Cuneo and Scott Oshman, Tim Boyle, Ron Henthorne, Leslie McLean, Shannon Cuneo, John McLean, statistician. That boy can tell you exactly how many paces it is to the touchdown and how many paces they've used in the game. I was holding on so much they backed them up another five yards. There's a good run. Connor Brown. Connor Brown. Here we go. The clock is running down. Two, three, one. Halftime. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this broadcast brought to you by McDaniel's Duke Center, Kathy Salvadolino over at Windermere, Fred's Rivertown Ale House. And there's something going on here, something to have. Muscle milk. Well, they're going to go back out there. They must have called a timeout prior to the half. So we don't know how many seconds that was, but it must have been a couple, at least enough for a play. And I want to remind everybody that we will be going black during halftime. We'll be back in how many ever... Oh, we got... We got uh, He's been with Snohomish for well, as long as we've been covering here. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we will be back in about 10 minutes. 